In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the two big updates coming to the Google algorithm this year, and one of them is next month in May, and the other one's in the summer. And the reason I say they're big is because Google has given us warning. Google never gives us warning about what they're doing or when updates happen. So I think if they're giving us warning, they must be pretty big. Even though I found an interview with Danny Sullivan who says it's not that big and don't freak out, but why all the warning? Either way, I'm gonna remind you what these are and future tutorials in the near future are gonna address how to fix these things and some past tutorials I've done address these things as well. I've linked to those in this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. Now let's get started. It's the Google Web Core Vitals update. And Google announced it, I think it was almost a year ago, at least six months ago. And it's one of the few times Google has let us know about an update before the update actually happens because they want us to get ready for it. And this update is, I believe, an iteration on site speed because it incorporates more things in the site speed, not just how fast the page loads, how long it takes for the largest content full paint, how much content shift there is as the page loads. And if those things, time to interactive, largest content full paint, cumulative layout shift, if those things sound familiar to you, that's because they're part of Google Page Speed Insights. If you run a site through here, it gives you those values and how fast your site was for those. First content full paint, largest content full paint, time to interactive, cumulative layout shift. These are important things that Google is now measuring and they want you to be in the green and that's what this update is about. The challenge is how do you get your site into the green? The best way I've found so far is using a plugin called Nitro Pack. You may love it, you may not love it, but it gets the job done. It's been getting the job done for this site right here for a long time. I did tutorials on this a few months ago. I've linked to those tutorials in the, in the description and the cards up above if you want to know more about Nitro Pack. And basically what it does is it speeds up your site and it makes sure your web core vitals are functioning as they should. There is also a new report inside Google Search Console. If you have not visited this report, you should. This is the main page of the Google Search Console and the core web vitals, I was saying that backwards, I was saying web core vitals. The core web vitals report is right here. Click on that and you'll see how your site's doing. And you'll notice on mine, if I zoom in a little bit here, you'll notice I had a lot of URLs need improvement. This is back in January. URLs that were poor. Sometimes I had some pop in here as good. Well, they all popped in as good sometimes, but the majority of the time they were poor or need improvement. And then I installed Nitro Pack. This is in a tutorial, like I said, and the tutorial linked to in the card above in the description down below. And all of a sudden my URLs are all good and they haven't been bad since. There's a note here. I don't know what that is. There it is. An event is occurring Google Search Console might affect your site's data. Okay, that's fine. So since I installed Nitro Pack, it's been in the green. And that's for mobile. And then down here for desktop, same thing. The same time frame that I installed Nitro Pack on the site, it's been in the green. You can't really argue with that. It's a quick and easy way to get your site compliant with the Core Web Vitals update. I am working on tutorials showing you how to do this stuff without using Nitro Pack, but it does require some development chops to get that done. I'm still working on those. Hope to get those out to you at some point in the near future. And until then, Nitro Pack is the best way to go. Or if you have a host like A2, you can use the Lightspeed caching plugin. That'll do a great job for speeding up your site. If you have Cloudways, you can use the Lightspeed plugin as well. I'm going to have tutorials coming out about these things, showing you how to do those on those platforms. And then I'm also working on, like I said, the manual way that's not going to cost you anything. And you can apply it to all your sites for free. And Nitro Pack, as you may know, has a free plan, but then it scales up into paid plans pretty quickly after 5,000 page views a month. So either way, check out this report in here. Make sure your URLs are good. If they're not, figure out why and fix them. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. If we go to page experience, this is another algorithm update coming this year. We wanna see, you wanna see this. Your site has 100% URLs with good page experience. I haven't been focusing on this, so I don't know why they're 100%, but they are, and I'm happy about it. Not going to complain. Uh, we see that the core web vitals, no issues detected. Mobile usability, no issues. Security issues, none. 
We have HTTPS installed and we have no ad problems. Those are the page experience metrics Google's using. And this update is dropping in or starting to drop in June and they say it's gonna roll out until August. Now the big question is, like with all Google updates, should we panic? Well, I don't think so. Because on this page right here, Danny Sullivan from Google, I don't know exactly who he is, but I think he must be important because he's talking about these things to the public. They asked him, do we expect the impact on the metrics to be significant or more subtle? How do you expect the impact from the page experience update? So it's asking about those two things. This first one is about the core web vitals because that's what the, the title of this post is. So if we scroll down a little bit to his answer, he says, I think if you go back and look at how we've had these sorts of things over, it really isn't that okay. Then the next day, everything completely changes. I'm not sure what that sentence means. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but the next one makes a lot of sense. There's no intent to try to do that, even though we might say we start using this factor. So I think what he's saying is how one day everything's fine and the next day there's an update or overnight there's an update, the next day everything completely changes. There's no intent to try to do that. I think that's what he's saying here. And the next Danny explained why the new ranking factor will not cause significant pain, which is what we want, right? We don't want significant fluctuations in our rankings. Even though they say this, it might not actually be true, but this is what they're saying. First of all, it remains one of many things. I mean, there's lots of ranking factors. Secondly, it's always the case that we're trying to return the best content based on the basket or bucket of things. So maybe you don't have the best page experience, but if you're still the most relevant content, that is going to, you know, overall various things we're looking at. So basically it's saying these things play a role. They're gonna be part of the ranking algorithm, but they're not huge and just still focus on making great content because even if you don't maximize these metrics or nail them as well as you could, if your content's great and it's the best content out there, you'll still do okay. And this last thing here, I don't think freak out, but do pay attention to it. Do understand it's a new thing that you need to keep in mind. And so they're saying it's an update, but don't freak out. But at the same time, they told us about it six months or a year ago, which is very strange. Usually Google pops updates in there, don't, doesn't tell anybody, and they tell you after the fact. This one they told us a long time in advance, and I think that means we should pay more attention to it because why would they give us all this warning? Why would they add these extra reports in? I don't see a panda report in here or a penguin report, but there's a core web vitals report. There's a page experience report. If it's not that important, why are these things getting their own reports? Why are we being notified way in advance? I don't know, but maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. And so the bottom line is these updates are coming in PageSpeed Insights. Make sure that you've got good numbers for these things. I'm gonna to link to a tutorial made by a Google developer who will explain this in way better detail than I can. And he will tell you what all these things are the cumulative layout shift, largest content full paint, time to interactive, and how to get those up to speed. So if you're a developer, you'll be able to watch that and just apply what he tells you. And if you're not a developer, watch it anyway so you understand what's happening. And I'm working on more tutorials to help you guys maximize your page speed insight scores because those are becoming more relevant now with this new Core Web Vital update. As you can see, my scores right here are 97 on mobile, 100 on desktop, if I test this again, it's gonna be different numbers. If you come and test it, it might be those same numbers. They might be 100 on both. I've never seen that before though. They're usually in the low to mid 90s on mobile and mid to high 90s on desktop. And that's using Nitro Pack on an Elementor based website. So if you wanna know how to do that, check out the Nitro Pack tutorial I've linked up above and make sure you keep your eyes peeled for new tutorials on helping you improve these stats to make sure you really nail the core web vitals update and the page experience update and that you're affected as little as possible by those updates when they roll out. And next up, check out this video right here, which is the Nitro Pack setup video I talked about in this video. That is how I got the current site that was in this video to 97 on mobile and 100 on desktop. So make sure you check that out. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it and I'll see you in the next video.